Collins from Ag I'm Ken Collins, C O L L I N S from Andover, New Jersey. I oppose the Penny's Pipeline project in its entirety. I support the no build option exclusively. I am here tonight to expose Penny's Achilles heel, but I'll do it facing the community with my back to those who clearly are not hearing us. You see, Penny's wants you to believe they have the ultimate weapon to use against landowners, eminent domain. What they don't want any of the landowners along this route to know is that the landowner's strongest weapon in the end is eminent domain. If all of the landowners post no trespassing signs around the circumference of their property and refuse all access to Penn East and their contractors, it forces Penn East to take all of the landowners to court for eminent domain proceedings, and they won't do it. If the landowners do what I've described, Penn East will walk away, and this pipeline will never go in the ground. It is just too many eminent domain cases for Penn East to contend with. That is the secret. Penn East does not want you landowners to know, well, the cat is out of the bag. Penn East has given us some interesting figures. Just over 50% of the proposed route has been surveyed, and nearly 50% of the project is cohabitating with other infrastructure. What that means is that most of the private landowners have refused access to their property by Penn East. Do not let them on your property. FERC is here to help Penn East get this pipeline built as quickly and cheaply as they can. That's their job. These people advocate burning more fossil fuel when they know it is killing us. And that is just stupid. They've not, they, they're not going to do anything about it. We have to make them take action. My hat doesn't simply describe me, it is my advice to you. It is time to rebel against this fossil foolishness. Cheryl LaFleur, head of FERC, recently said FERC has a problem, referring to natural gas pipeline resistance. FERC's real problem is it is forcing these projects down the throats of our communities. Mankind cannot survive much longer unless we stop emitting, emitting greenhouse gases right now. This is the place. Now is the time to take this stand. We will stop this pipeline, but only if you, the landowners, don't buy into the fear of eminent domain that Penn East would like to instill in all of you. We can't count on FERC or FOMSA to listen to us and take the bold step of rejecting this project. Landowners, just say no. Force eminent domain proceedings and send Penn East home without a pipeline. The power is in your hands. Do it.